Good morning. You have been in suspension for 50 days. In compliance with state and federal regulations, all testing candidates in the Aperture Science Extended Relaxation Center must be revived periodically for a mandatory physical and mental wellness exercise. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, look up at the ceiling. Good. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, look down at the floor. Good. This completes the gymnastic portion of your mandatory physical and mental wellness exercise. There is a framed painting on the wall. Please go stand in front of it. This is art. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, stare at the art. You should now feel mentally reinvigorated. If you suspect staring at art has not provided the required intellectual sustenance, reflect briefly on this classical music. Good. Now please return to your bed. Good morning. You have been in suspension for nine, 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 nine. Hello? Anyone in there? Hello? Hello? Are you going to open the door? At any time? It is now Portal 2 time. Hello? No. Are you open this door? Because it's fairly urgent. We have weekly. Um... Just open the door! Hello, friend. Why not open the door? I'm going to be tempted to leave weekly talking. Hola, amigo. Abre la puerta. Which Don't may stir, might make the episodes um, longer, or well, I mean there are more of them. I do kind of want no, to. Fine, absolutely fine. It's not like I don't have you know ten thousand other test subjects begging me to help them escape. You know, it's not like this place is about to explode. Oh, that's all right then. Um. All right, look. Okay, I'll be honest. You're the last test subject left, and if you don't help me, we're both gonna die. All right. I didn't want to say it. There you go. You've dragged it out of me. All right, dead. Dos muerte. Hello. So, yeah, so I'll try, Hello. try to resist letting them ramble, because otherwise this will go on forever and I do want to get through this Hello. series, this LP, but, uh... God. Ah. Oh, God, you look te um, good. Looking good, actually. Are you okay? How are you? Well, don't answer that. I'm absolutely sure you're fine. There's plenty of time for you to recover. Just take it. Please time. prepare for emergency evacuation. Stay calm, stay, stay calm, prepare. It's all I'm saying, prepare. It's all fine, all right? Don't move. I'm going to get us out of here. Oh, you might want to hang on to something. Word of advice. Up to you. Look at the dent in the bed. That's the dent of a person who's been there for a long time. You alright down there? Can you hear me? Hello? Most test subjects do experience some uh, cognitive deterioration after a few months in suspension. Now, you've been under for quite a lot longer, and it's not out of the question that you might have a very minor case of serious brain damage. But don't be alarmed, all right? Uh, although, if you do if you do feel alarmed, try to hold on to that feeling, because that is the proper reaction to being told that you've got brain damage. Do you understand what I'm saying at all? Does any of this make any sense? Just tell me. Just say yes. Okay, what you're doing there is jumping. Uh, you just you just jumped. But never mind. Say apple. 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 Simple word. Why can't you apple. hear me? Just say, okay. You know what? That's close enough. Just hold oh. tight. <laughs> All reactor core safeguards are now non-functional. Please prepare for reactor core meltdown. Okay, look. I wasn't going to mention this to you, but I'm in pretty hot water here. How are you doing down there? You still holding on? The reserve power ran out, so of course the whole relaxation center stops waking up the bloody test subjects. Hold on! I'm not touching the tricky. keys. And of course, nobody tells me anything. No, why should you tell me anything? Why should I be kept informed? You know, about the life functions of the 10,000 bloody test subjects I'm supposed to be in charge of. Why? It's close. Can you see? Am I gonna make it through? But I love space. Uh, just, just gotta get through here. No. Okay, I just gotta concentrate. Good luck with that. 
And whose fault do you think it's going to be when the management comes down here and finds 10,000 flipping vegetables? Alright, so now I hit that one. I hit that one. Really? Okay, listen. We should get our story straight, alright? If anyone asks, and no one's going to ask, don't worry, but if anyone asks, tell them as far as you know, the last time you checked, everyone looked pretty much alive. All right, not dead. Okay, almost there. On the other side of that wall is one of the old testing tracks. There's a piece of equipment in there that we're going to need. Docking to get station. Out of here. I, I think this is a docking station. 500 feet get ready. below. Uh, Wheatley. Wheatley. Uh. Good news. That is not a docking station. So there's one mystery solved. Uh, I'm going to attempt a manual override on this wall. Could get a bit technical. Hold on. Almost there. Remember, you're looking for a gun that makes holes. Not bullet holes. But don't worry, you'll figure it out. Seriously, do hold on this time. There we go. Now, I'll be honest, you are probably in no fit state to run this particular type of cognitive gauntlet. But um, at least you're a good jumper. So you got that, got the jumping on your side. Um, just do your best, and I'll meet you up ahead. I don't think so. You do it. All right, off you go. No. Go on, just march on through that hole. What, the one you just made? Yeah, it's all right. Go ahead. Are you sure? Because you don't seem like a reliable I know, judge. I, know. I have painted quite a grim picture of your chances, but if you simply stand here, we will both surely die. All right then. So, once again, just move along. One small step and everything. This seems familiar. Oh, good luck. Hello, and again, welcome to the Aperture Science Enrichment Center. We are currently experiencing technical difficulties due to circumstances of potentially apocalyptic significance beyond our control. However, thanks to emergency testing protocols, testing can continue. These pre-recorded messages will provide instructional and motivational support so that science can still be done, even in the event of environmental, social, economic, or structural collapse. The portal will open, and emergency testing will begin in three, two, one. So this is all very familiar, but uh, a bit plantier than I remember. Cube and button-based testing remains an important tool for science, even in a dire emergency. If cube and button-based testing caused this emergency, don't worry. The odds of this happening twice are very slim. Uh huh. Please note the incandescent particle field across the exit. This aperture science material emancipation grill will vaporize any unauthorized equipment that passes through. Very watery. I like it. I love this texture for the grill. I wonder if I can... Will the door close since it's faulty? Or will it stay open? Yes, closes. It's not that faulty then. Different elevator. In fact... Hmm. If you feel liquid running down your neck, relax, lie on your back, and apply immediate pressure to your temples. You are simply experiencing a rare reaction in which the material emancipation grill may have emancipated the ear tubes inside your head. Oh well, at least it's not my teeth this time. 
Chamber one. Now this is slightly different from Portal because inactive camera because uh, I control where the portal goes which makes things a bit easier because that running around was just annoying daylight, actual daylight Super colliding, super conducting, super button thingy. Super colliding, super button, whatever. Good. Because of the technical difficulties we are currently experiencing, your test environment is unsupervised. Before re entering a relaxation vault at the conclusion of testing, please take a moment to write down the results of your test. An Aperture Science Reintegration Associate will remind you for an interview when society has been rebuilt. If the Earth is currently governed by a manner of animal king, sentient cloud, or other governing body that either refuses to or is incapable of listening to us. Hmm. Encouraging. Oh, hello. This is. Where have we got the portal gun before? Hey, hey! You made it! There should be a, a portal device on that podium over there. I can't see it though. Maybe it fell off. Do you want to go and have a quick look? It's alright, no, go on, just have a look about. No, that's right, over by the podium, yeah. There's nothing there, Wheatley. If you just. Okay, just stand by the podium and just look up. Why? That's it, yeah, no, that's it, yeah. Why look up? Oh! Yeah, I'll, I'll look up. Can you see the portal gun? Mm, no. Also, are you alive? That's important, should have asked that first. Do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to work on the assumption that you're still alive. And I'm just gonna wait for you up ahead. Okay. I'll, I'll wait one hour, then I'll come back, and assuming I can locate your dead body, I'll bury you. Alright? Brilliant. Go team! See you in an hour, hopefully. If you're not dead. Oh. Hello, hello, portal gun. What have we here? Ladders. Neurotoxin. You heard that rocks over there, didn't you? this hmm. 
new phases. This is an observation room, and then this is... Some emergency testing may require prolonged interaction with lethal military androids. Rest assured that all lethal military androids have been taught to read and provided with one copy of the laws of robotics to share. Well, as long as they share it nicely. So then this is... Not a familiar test chamber, I don't believe. Or is it? No, it's not arranged in the right way to the one I thought it might be. Good. If you feel that a lethal military android has not respected your rights as detailed in the laws of robotics, please note it on your self-reporting form. A future Aperture Science Entitlement Associate will initiate the appropriate grievance filing paperwork. This next test is very dangerous. To help you remain tranquil in the face of Here almost certain death. Smooth jazz will be deployed in three, three two, two, one. one. Familiarity once again. Now I believe it's possible to do this room without using any more portals. Um, if I remember you use this as a step to get that one. I've done the least portals challenges for most of this game, so... Great work! Because this message is pre-recorded, any observations related to your performance are speculation on our part. Please disregard any undeserved compliments. Shrooting is a cat. Cat in a box. Look at the level of detail on the keyboard. Continuing onward, getting further and further from the surface. If the enrichment center is currently being bombarded with fireballs, meteorites, or other objects from space, please avoid unsheltered testing areas wherever a lack of shelter from space debris does not appear to be a deliberate part of the test. Despite which, I can still see the sky. That's weird. Now, is this the same as any room out of portal? 
Oh, I'm not sure. I don't think it is. Chamber 5. What was Chamber 5 in the original? Well, not this. Pretty sure of that. So... Hmm. Portal there to get the cube over. This should drop the cube. This allows me to get up here. And then now... Cube's going to come out of there, go into there. That drops the cube. And then... Oh, a bit late. Hey, that worked. Not quite as intended, but it worked. Well done. The enrichment center reminds you that although circumstances may appear bleak, you are not alone. All aperture science personality constructs will remain functional in apocalyptic low power environments of as few as 1.1 volts. And all aperture equipment remains functional to 5,000 degrees Kelvin. All these useless facts about aperture science equipment. This next test applies the principles of momentum to movement through portals. If the laws of physics no longer apply in the future, God help you. Well. So got a cube in a... Well, in a cube, I suppose. <laughs> Okay, down we go. And then that's going to need a cube on it, so do that. And that. If you are a non employee who has discovered this facility amid the ruins of civilization, Welcome. And remember, testing is the future. And the future starts with you. Okay, so we've got a portal down there. I need to get over there to get the cubes. So I'm going to fling here. Good, good. And then... From here I need to get up there. To place the cubes, so uh, that. And that portal should be in the right place for that. Maybe over a bit. You almost feel like you should be able to get up there, but I suppose there probably isn't any way to do it. Oh, no. So I need a bigger jump. In which case, I guess I'll drop down to the higher area and go from there. Like so. Good work getting this far, future starter. That said, if you are simple-minded, old, or irradiated in such a way that the future should not start with you. Please return to your primitive tribe and send back someone better qualified for testing. There is no one better qualified for testing than Shell. To ensure that sufficient power remains for core testing protocols, all safety devices have been disabled. The Enrichment Center respects your right to have questions or concerns about this policy. Your questions and concerns will not be taken into consideration, but you're allowed to have them. No, this is a familiar chamber. Hey! Oi, oi! I'm up there! There's a radio back there, originally. And we've got the pellet launchers. There are no pellets in this game. Oh, brilliant! You did find a portal gun! Oh, the... Do you know what? It just goes to show, people with brain damage, 
are the real heroes in the end, aren't they, at the end of the day? Brave. Pop a portal on that wall behind me there, and I'll meet you on the other side of the room. Okay, listen, let me... Chamber make some eight. money here, it's pretty heavy. They told me never, never, ever to disengage myself from my management rail, or I would die. But we're out of options here, so... Get ready to catch me, all right, on the off chance that I'm not dead the moment I pop off this thing. On three. Ready? One. Two. Three! That's high. It's w it's too high, isn't it, really, that? All right, going on three just gives you too much time to think about it. Let's uh, go on one this time. Okay, ready? One. Catch me, catch me, catch me, catch me! Ow! I Ow. tried. I... I'm not dead! I'm not dead! <laughs> I can't move though, that's the problem there. Are you still are you still there? Could you pick me up, do you think? If you are there? No. Hello? Can you can you pick me up, please? Sorry, are you still there? Could you pick could you pick me up? Oh, I suppose I haven't really got a choice. Oh, brilliant, thank you. Great. Plug me into that stick on the wall over there, yeah? And I'll show you something. You'll be impressed by this. Um... Yeah, I can't do it if you're watching. What happened to an I'll show Seriously, you something? I'm not, I'm not joking. Could you just turn around for a second? Mm. I can't... I can't do it if you're watching. <laughs> I, d I can't do it if you're watching. If you just turn around. What's that behind you? It's only a robot on a bloody stick. A different one. <laughs> so this is why I kind of want to let Wheatley keep talking. All right, you can turn around now. Bam. Secret panel. You didn't Bam. even do anything well, worth watching. Pick me up. Well, let's get out of here. Pick. Would you pick me up? <laughs> would you pick me up? Hey, pick me up. Pick me up. Don't forget to pick me up. Might want to just pick me up. Oh, oh, no, don't leave me behind. Uh, do pick me up, if you would. Just, uh, pick me up. Take me with you. I want to roll you. I want to roll you. Oh, remember when you picked me up five seconds ago? Oh, that was amazing. Do it again. Pick me up again. Let's do it again. Pick me up again. Oh, all right. And off we go. Look at this! No rail to tell us where to go! Oh, this is brilliant. We can go wherever we want. Just... Hold on, though. Where are we going? Seriously. Hang on, let me just get my bearings. Um, just follow the rail, actually. Pro tip. You can't put Wheatley down once you picked him up. Just to make sure you can't drop him off the edge or anything. Oh, no. Yes! Hello! We're not stopping! Don't make eye contact, whatever you do. No, thanks, we're good. Appreciate it. Keep moving, keep moving. Hello? Hello? You're different. Probably ought to bring you up to speed on something right now. In order to escape, we're going to have to go through her chamber, and what? she will probably kill us if if she's um, awake. If you want to just call it quits, we could just sit here forever. That's an option. Option A: sit here, do nothing. Option B: go through there, and if she's alive, she'll almost certainly kill us. So we did come from so, this direction. If you've got any reservations whatsoever about this plan, now would be a tremendous time to voice them. Well, she's dead, though, right? I killed her. OK, 
Okay, I'm gonna lay my cards on the table. I don't want to do it. I don't want to go in there. Don't, don't go in there. She, she's off. She's off. Don't panic over. She's off. All fine. On we go. What a nasty piece of work she was, honestly. Like a proper maniac. Do you know who ended up, uh, do you know who ended up taking her down in the end? You're not gonna believe this. A human. I know. I know, I wouldn't have believed it either. Apparently this human escaped and uh, nobody's seen him since. Then there was a sort of long chunk of time where um, absolutely nothing happened. And then there's us escaping now. So um, that's pretty much the whole story, you're up to speed. Don't touch me. This, I remember when this route was intact. It feels like it was just nine, 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 nine ago. Oh, I remember this thing. I dropped things in here and blew them up. Hello. Okay, down these stairs. Jump! This, actually, look at it. That is quite a that's quite a distance, isn't it? Okay, you know what? Uh, go ahead and jump. You've got you've got braces on your legs, so you're all set. Although no braces on your arms, though. So you're going to have to rely on the old human strength to keep a grip on the device and, by extension, me. So do do really make sure you keep a grip on me. Also, a note: no braces on your spine either. So, so don't land on that. Um, or your head: no braces there. That could that could split like a melon from this height. <laughs> um, so, do definitely focus on landing with your legs. Can I, quick question: Have you been working out? Because I'll be honest, there's no evidence of it. You know, I'm not I'm not like just a plastic cup. Uh, we will be landing with some force. So, a uh, bit of bit of grip. Just using grip. Classic grip. Right, let's go. Jump! What's the worst that could happen? Oh, oh, I just thought about the worst thing that could happen there. Oh, I just thought of something even worse. Better plan, a new plan. No imagining of any potential outcomes whatsoever, okay? Just just jump. Just jump into the into the abyss and, and see what happens. Oh, it's still there. It's still in my head. Okay, um... Just in case I don't survive, if you've enjoyed the video, remember to leave a like. Share, favourite and comment helps support the channel. Follow me on Twitter to stay up what's going on, and subscribe if you want to see more. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. <laughs>